That's right, in this video, I'm gonna be giving some unsolicited advice to Tana Mojo. But on the off chance that she doesn't see this video, this video is actually for you. Now, what are my qualifications? Not much, except for the fact that I've been in a lot, a lot of f***ed up relationships. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, sometimes what I like to do is take different topics from the YouTube community and try to see what lessons we can learn from them. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So, a little bit of a disclaimer, I don't know Tana Mojo. I don't know the fake Justin Bieber um, either. So this is based on the video that Tana Mojo just released about her breakup. And yeah, sometimes I dive into some YouTube comments but the goal of these, these videos is I want all of us to take the content we're consuming and see what we can learn. So this video is not only for Tana if she ever sees this, but for anybody out there who's not, not just somebody who's been cheated on, but anybody who's gone through a breakup, all right? The first thing is, is that we we judge ourselves way too harshly for our emotions after after just about any kind of life-changing event whether it's a breakup whether it's been cheated on whether it's the loss of somebody and tana goes through these emotions and she talks about going through those emotions and she talks about how she feels she should be like stronger and harder and everything like that but something she talks about throughout this video is you know, she, she's a person, right? She's a human being. And that's something that we all need to remind ourselves of through any of these difficult situations, maybe just even losing a job. And I know a lot of people struggle with this, especially if you're like the, the head of the household maybe, or maybe you're a single parent, or maybe you're just somebody like Tana Mojo who has a platform and a lot of people are looking up to you. Like, I know I felt that pressure as well, but what we need to realize is that we are human and we have emotions. And one of the reasons I'm always preaching about meditation and mindfulness is it helps us quit judging our emotions so, so, so much. We just sit with them and we accept them and we let them be. Like through any type of kind of massive event in our lives, there's going to be ups and downs. I could definitely relate to what Tana's talking about with those ups and downs during this whole situation. Just one, just being heartbroken by what happened, being taken off guard and, you know, giving her all to this relationship. And then on the other hand, that voice in her head that's saying, it's gonna be okay, it's going to be fine. It is completely normal for us as humans to have a myriad of emotions during a time like this. The next thing I wanna say is yes, 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 girl. So this is awesome, Tana Mojo, talked about having to be a role model for her younger audience. And I am just so proud of Tana for acknowledging that. She talks about later in her video um, about like never wanting to be a role model, but like accepting that she is one. And yeah, like that is so awesome and just self-aware. And we have to think about that as parents too, right? Like if you're a parent, let's say you're a single parent or maybe you're, you know, in the relationship with the other parent, like, what example are you setting for your child, right? Like, when when I was single, um, after my son's mom and I broke up, I was very careful about who I dated because if I got into a crazy, terrible, uh, like verbally abusive or emotionally abusive relationship, what kind of example is that setting for my son? It is showing my son that this is okay. So, like, I'm so impressed and proud of Tana Mojo for acknowledging her audience and, and knowing that part of like what she has to do is because she is an influence on them. And that is that is very, very grown up of her. And I know I've been critical of Tana in the past, but this is like a huge, huge like accomplishment and just showing some real personal growth in my opinion. But the other thing is too, and something that I'm learning on my journey as a YouTuber is, is that it's also a great form of accountability, right? Like just having, you know, having my son, that's a form of accountability, but being on this platform is a form of accountability. So Tana now, before making certain decisions, she's acknowledging that she has to think about what's gonna be public, what's her audience gonna think, how are they going to be influenced, and everything like that. And that is just mwah, superb. So Tana, if you're watching this, killing it, girl. Another thing I wanna touch on is, Tana is so compassionate towards Brad, or uh, AKA fake Justin Bieber. Um, she's very compassionate towards him. And that's, that's huge, that is huge. 
And then she talks about forgiveness. And you guys, I can't express how important forgiveness is after any type of relationship, whether it was, you know, your, your boyfriend or girlfriend or, you know, whoever it was, but like in a broader context, anybody who's hurt you, all right? They say that holding on to that type of resentment is like drinking poison and hoping the other person dies. Like a lot of us think that forgiveness is letting the other person off the hook, but in my experience, forgiveness is letting ourselves off the hook. You see what I mean? And she's very empathetic towards Brad, just, just knowing that, you know, he's not in a great place. The last video I made about this, talking about people who cheat, is that they have a lot of insecurities, a lot of insecurities. That's why they do what they do. You know what I mean? And for Tana to be grown up about that and acknowledge that, that is a huge, huge deal. Something that was very interesting about Tana's video is that she brought up the relationship between um, Khloe Kardashian and that dude who cheated on him, on her, and like she, she got back with him and Tana saw all of that and what happened and she took that, right? But she was very empathetic towards Khloe because what Tana was talking about was during that situation, she's like, oh girl, you crazy. Why are you gonna get back with that guy, right? But now that she's been in that situation, she has a whole different perspective, a whole different outlook, a whole different uh, opinion on the situation because now she's going through it. And like, this is something that all of us do and all of us should do, right? We, we, we get put into someone else's shoes and we're like, oh my God. Like, I think I mentioned this in a video a few weeks ago, but how many of you out there are parents? And before you were a parent, you judged other parents and then all of a sudden you have kids or whatever it is and you're like, oh my God, oh, now I get it, now it makes sense. Or maybe, maybe you just became an adult. Remember all the things you took for granted that your parents did, right? And then now that you're an adult and you're paying your own bills, you gotta, you know, you gotta pay rent, you gotta pay electri uh, electricity, you got a car, you got a car payment, you got insurance, you gotta pay gas, you gotta buy groceries, everything you're like, dang, mom and dad, you guys are putting in work. And it's awesome that she, she is acknowledging that and taking that in and turning that into wisdom. I can say personally that, like, this is something that I personally dealt with. Like, doing YouTube commentary and then having all the stuff happen to me uh, uh, in the last couple months, like, it has given me a whole new perspective on this whole YouTuber thing, right? Like, and, and yeah, I've been uh, uh, trying to be a lot more compassionate and empathetic when I word things, when I talk about other YouTubers, because for the first time in my life, I've actually experienced some of what they've been through. And Tana Mojo has millions of followers. If you combine all of her social media platforms, so many people following her. So like what I got was like basically like a pinch. You know what I mean? It was just a tight little eh. And right, and like Tana Mojo or any other big YouTuber or celebrity, when this kind of stuff happens, like a public breakup or whatever it is, or any kind of controversy, it's like a punch in the face. It's not a, a light little pinch. So I have much more empathy, even though I haven't even dealt with this to the extreme that somebody like Tana Mojo has. I talked about this a bit in the video I made the other day about James Charles and why he's blocking people on Twitter. The last thing I wanna talk about is the wisdom that Tana has gained from this relationship. And I may or may not do another video to try to see what lessons we can learn from this and just the things she explained about the relationship and how much she gave. But anyways, like for right now, just what I wanna touch on is she talks about what she learned and how she like, you know, is looking back and like retracing the breadcrumbs and saying, what was my part in this? And she talks about rushing into the relationship, you know, bringing um, Brad out there and, you know, all these other things and she's gained wisdom. Um, I was actually just doing a, a life coaching session earlier, one of my practice sessions, because I'll be certified um, sometime in the next month. But anyways, um, I was talking to somebody about their relationship that they were just in and like, the question that I always ask anybody, whether it's you know a client that I've worked with or just a friend, it's like, what did you learn? Like, what did you learn from this relationship? What did this relationship teach you, 
right? Because wisdom is taking knowledge and putting that into action, right? If nothing changes, nothing changes. So if we don't acknowledge where we made missteps, maybe it was in the choosing process of who our partner was gonna be, or maybe it was during the relationship. If we don't learn from that history, then we're doomed to repeat it. So, so that's awesome that Tana acknowledges that, and now she could take that and, and use that information when moving forward into her next relationship. So, so again, like Tana, for some reason you're watching it, my heart goes out to you, girl. You're killing it, you're doing great. And anybody out there who has gone through a recent breakup or you've been cheated on or anything of the sort, like just remember, feel your feelings. They're completely normal. If you need to, Go to therapy, but if, you, if you're not going to therapy, rely on your support group. Rely on the people in your life who love you and care about you unconditionally. Your friends, your family members, whoever it is, rely on those people. They will be there to hold you and hold space for you while you're overcoming the breakup that you just went through. Like, that's what they're there for. We are humans and we need connection. And sometimes we need a little break from like romantic relationships, but we maintain our connections with the other people in our lives. All right, but anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And if you would like to help support what I'm doing here, get access to our monthly Q&A and some other perks and benefits, you can click or tap on that Patreon icon right there. All right, thanks again so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time.